Hi, welcome to the show. Uh, today we're at Arturo's restaurant in White Park, a uh, pizza restaurant with Arturo. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to see you. Oh, look, it's great to have you on the show. I've been um, in a position where I've ordered your pizzas uh, for quite some time now. I must admit, I love your Arturo's special. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's a beauty. It's got the broccoli and the carrots on it, and it's just that cheese and cheese in there. Yeah, it's beautiful pizza. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's definitely my favourite. Um, yeah. And you've been in the area for how long have you been business here for now? Well, the business I've been in for almost eight years. <laughs> almost eight years. And um, it's doing well so far. And uh, it's doing pretty good. Yeah. And you've got um, local people working for, for you as well? Um, how many staff are you running from? Yeah, most of my work is out from the uh, local community, especially from Black Park. Uh, a few of them that previous staff to be in the other area, but not too far. And uh, yeah, I find it uh, pretty reliable. Uh, they're very good stuff and they, they support, support us very good. So. It's great. Do you have to have, I mean, to run a pizza place, you have to have a number of staff, obviously casuals? You have to have a few, quite a few. Uh, you have to have a full time cook at, uh, at least. And then, uh, yeah, if you casual staff, the waitress, mm-hmm. the different drivers and stuff like that. Uh, because we do delivery around the area, okay. take away all the time. Because I was here the other day and I think you were, um, uh, you had a christening coming or something here, and you know, so I'm sure you've had, had a number of functions like that as well. We do have, uh, we do have a number of functions. Uh, we can sit up, sit up to 55 people. Right. And uh, yeah, a lot of people find it that it's very economical and uh, not expensive when it, when it comes to functional christenings. Uh, and they uh, they have a good time. They take the time. There's no rush. They spend uh, all afternoon mm-hmm. uh, they, without being uh, pushed at the you know, time to go and stuff like that. So they enjoy the very comfortable. Stuff. No, that's right. You know, it was just something where I just happened to come in to pick up a pizza and thought, oh well, you know, it's great that they're all laid out for the christening. So yeah. um, also, I mean, you do delivery in the area, obviously. What sort of what area do you, do you cover? We do home deliveries from 5 p.m. Uh, we do cover all the way from the, from Berkshire Park to London Dairy to Richmond, Hobart Hill, uh, all the way to the other side from Grass Hill okay. and Windsor. So we pretty much cover all this area from this side of the river. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. We get there as soon as we can. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, a bit of pizza to be nice and warm. Yeah. So yeah, so, uh, it's a good business. Yeah, yeah, now it's start. Uh, well, I know you know we, we get delivery quite a bit into uh, our yeah. homes. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 so, so now yeah. it's, it, it's true. Um, and great quality pizzas, really delicious. So um, congratulations for that. There's, uh, there's one thing when you sometimes nothing worse than you go and get pizza, you order it, and it's not real good. Um, yeah. even, yeah. even the next day, your pizzas are really good. Well, <laughs> so that's the trick of the fresh ingredients. One of those things is that when you use fresh ingredients, there's still like more flavour, more taste. It doesn't matter whether you eat, you eat it all tonight or you eat some the next day. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of them, the non-fresh ingredients, intend, intend to dry out very quickly, yeah. and that's when it becomes more tasteless. But you know, we do our best. Uh, hard work pays off. Mm-hmm. Uh, you work hard. You you put care to it, and uh, it pays off at the end. Yeah, being passionate about food is something that I can imagine just having that. Oh, we see a lot of this now with all these um, uh, reality TV shows, MasterChef, and all that. Do you sort of experimenting a bit with, with food? Well, when it comes to food, there's no limit what you can and cannot do. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially on a pizza. Especially on a pizza. Uh, you can put, like, while I was working prior to having my own business, uh, working for elsewhere, like in Tolkien Hills. And when I used to come home with my kids, we used to make pizza ourselves at home. And we used to put broccoli and carrots and feta cheese. And, and the kids just love it. And this, we're talking about kids that used to be five to, from five to eight years old. And ever since, when we used to make it all together, and they love it. They, they used to eat the vegetables. And I said, well, this is my favorite pizza. Because when, when you watch kids eating the vegetables, <laughs> it's very hard to get a kid to eat vegetables these days. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I was keen to it and I started to experiment with everything from chicken schnitzel to, to lamb to, yeah, to also the burger pizza. Yeah, well, it's, 
And I've seen dessert pizzas where you know people are doing strawberries and bananas and all these things. Now. There's no limit. There's yeah. no limit. And uh, I even started doing Vegemite pizza for bread. Personally, I, mean, I, I, personally, I could not eat Vegemite first. I just can't comprehend that. But when it comes to a Vegemite pizza, I eat a uh, very large pizza on to myself. I do not share that. <laughs> I do not share the Vegemite pizza. So, oh, I've never heard of that before. So, um, and, I mean, when you talk about kids, you've got a couple of I do have two girls, two teenagers, okay. uh, 15 and 16 years old. Uh, for the last eight years that I've had the business, they've always hang around here. Mm -hmm. They go to a public school, which is Windsor High at the moment, and they lead to Windsor Park Public School prior to that. Okay. Uh, yeah, ever since... Uh, so you live locally? I do live locally in Windsor. So, and ever since I've opened the business, the kids have been in here, and they've always taken interest in what I do. Uh, from the age of 10, they started making uh, coffees from espresso to cappuccino. And that, that put a few tears in my eyes. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell you the truth, every now and then when there's no workers that come to another of work, my eldest daughter, for example, Emma, she, I admire her a lot. And she, she makes great pizzas as well. And she's my right hand uh, man, but being a girl, <laughs> it's a right hand girl. Oh, so uh, they're good. It's uh, wonderful. Oh, that's right. And what? My wife mainly she works here as well, uh, with me at nights. Uh, daytime she's a home mom. So it's a good family business. It is a good family business, a small family. And uh, yeah, we we love it. And you've you've also done some things with um, uh, sponsoring local We do sponsor the local uh, sports, local community, mm -hmm. such as the Rookie Lake, yeah. uh, the Windsor Lakes in here. And uh, we've been doing that for quite some time, ever since in our second year, actually, that we opened the business. Right. Uh, we've stopped every now and then, but we've sort of been on and off. We, especially the softball team, we've sponsored them as well. Right. And we've, uh, yeah, we've helped the community quite a bit. Yeah. They help us in return, uh, being the regular customers as well. So it's, we do go around the childcare centers, teach the kids, show them how to make a pizza, and get them to play with the dough, and they love it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it brings a tear in your eye when you say how happy they are. So, uh, so the, yeah. the mini master chefs. The well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and right. you'd be surprised. A lot of them do watch the master chef, and uh, mm. and they love it. They love it. Oh, so, that's really. Yeah. No, no, that's fine. Right. Mm. I mean, being in the Hawkesbury, you've got the business in the Hawkesbury. What What do you love the most about the Hawkesbury? Well, everybody knows everyone. Mm. Uh, that's the thing about it. It brings back memories from when I was a child, back from where I come from, from Albania, that we literally know everyone in our, in our little village or in our town. And the same thing in Hawkesbury. Yeah. Everybody knows everyone and everybody supports the community, and uh, which is pretty good. I, I go on the local farms and get the vegetables uh, from Windsor, uh, local farms down here. I go down at the old Pit Town Road, it's a uh, post mushrooms. Uh, I get my mushrooms at the, at the farm, so I I don't go to to the market to get the mushrooms and, and caps and vegetables. When it's out of season, that's when I go to Flemington markets to get them shed fresh. Uh, but yeah, it's it's all so local it's all produce. That's great. It's all it's funny when you mentioned cows, mushrooms. I know Steve and Veronica really really well. Um, they're great people. Yeah, great people. They're yeah. great people, and uh, I've had. For the last five years, I've been getting mushrooms from them. Mm. For the last five years, and uh, they've never let me down. Their mushrooms are great. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one of the great things about, like you said, the Hawks Street. Everyone knows it. Everyone, it was just funny. As soon as you said the name, I thought, oh, yeah. well, no one knows. Everybody knows each other. They help each other. Yeah, yeah. they help each other. So. No, that's great. Right. It's been terrific to catch up with you, just to get, give people a little bit of behind the scenes look into our Cheerios. Um, if anyone is in a position where they're looking for I don't know if you've got anything special that you maybe have. Well, we do, we do, we don't encourage people to force them to have many uh, products and buy beans to the castle. We, we normally have the space that if you spend $50 or more, uh, you can request a free garlic pizza mm -hmm. uh, at any day of the week, regardless right. of it's a delivery or a takeaway. Uh, and then Tuesday to Thursday, we do have a special when because a lot of families in here, they all eat together, and they order quite large orders. And when they order three large pizzas or more, they can request a large garlic pizza for free and a soft drink, 1.25. Right. So it's more of a, 
not so sort of the X amount of money deal, but it's more of an appreciation to give them something in return for supporting us as well. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's so, good. Yeah, no, no, that's good. All right, well, um, yeah, there you have it, guys. A churros here at Blight Park. If, um, if you want to have a nice, delicious Wall Street, Wall Street homemade pizza, pizza, pasta, check, yeah, check them out here. Okay. All right, we'll catch you soon, Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Okay.